Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to California with NorCal Copwatch as he invades a office building and attempts to harass everybody within that building. Why? Well, because he can, and that's his only good reason that he would ever have to use. But the real truth is, he's unemployed, unemployable, and just like many other frauditors, has a criminal record. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This video right here takes place as I left the East Bay Works Department. Uh, I was walking out of the building and I was walking through the parking lot and I saw that there was a bunch of county vehicles. So I decided to go check those out, look into them. And I was wondering why they were there. And little did I know that there was actually another government office right here in that parking lot. This is the Contra Costa County Print and Mail Services. And it's uh, a division of the Public Works Department. I was totally unprepared. I, didn't, I did not do my research, so I wasn't sure what was going on here. I wasn't sure about the place. And, well, that's one of your biggest problems right there is that you frauders rarely ever do sufficient amount of research, which gets you into trouble quite a bit. All these vehicles are pretty much empty. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? How's it going? Good. You're trying to get me in to get you into a conversation. I, I know all that shit. <laughs> no. No, no, you wouldn't do that. No. All right. I, I, I know what you're doing. No problem. I'm just, I'm just taking photos of the, the vehicles. Yeah, the inside of the vehicles. Yeah, my vehicle. I own it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tax, I watch a lot I'm, of videos I'm a on this fan. stuff. And oh, you do? I, yeah, right on, right yeah, on, right really on. cool that you're trying to draw yeah. people into that. Oh, this guy's on to the little games that you frauditors play all the time. He'll be a tough nut to crack if you want those cl uh, clicks and views. I'm sure you could find somebody else who has no clue of what your uh, game is. I mean, that would be much better to track one of those guys down and uh, poke them until you get the reaction that you want. No, I'm not, not trying to draw. I've never been out here, so I thought I'd come take a look. So you thought you'd look inside the vehicles? Yeah, I just got here, so I'm taking a look at the vehicles we first. Don't, we don't keep then... anything inside. Yeah, they're all pretty well kept, yeah. except for they need washing. We, get, we do it uh, once, uh, once a month. Yeah. So what is this place? It's a building that we work at. Well, no, duh. <laughs> well, if you're going to be doing this shit, I'm going to be the, the same way you are. What do you mean the same way I am? What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. I just told you I was taking a look inside the vehicles. Yeah. Man, oh man, that is just so sad. So sad that you have so much time on your hands to go to a place that you know absolutely nothing about. Hell, you didn't even know that was a government building until you walked into the parking lot. I guess this could be considered a metaphor for his life. Wandering around aimlessly and uh, not knowing where you are at at any given time. Man, oh man, that has to be really sad for you. That's kind of strange. I mean, uh, usually people do that. They're wanting to see what's inside and they want to see something. What do you think? I mean, I, don't, I, I, can't, I, I can't speak for anybody else. I can only speak for myself. All right. What's, have, what's so have a nice day. But what's so strange about it? Because I'm looking? I'm not falling into this trap. It's not a trap. Uh-oh, they're closing. You're closing up? Yeah. Why? See ya. Okay, so it looks like it's like a big print center. You see, frauditors are nothing but a bunch of drama queens. They are looking to start drama and record it for clicks and views on their YouTube channel. And... The best way to deal with that is to just walk away like that guy did and pretend that they are not in the area. But the frauder is not going to give up that easily. He's going to try to stir up more trouble as soon as he can. I mean, that's just in their nature. They can't help it. They've got to be able to get that uh, drama for clicks and views. 
It's a big print center. All right, here's the main entrance. Please be advised, this property is subject to audio and video surveillance. Oh, it is locked. Oh, there's someone coming. Hi, is this a public building? Yes. Access to the public? Kind of. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Print and mail. Print and mail? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just going to take a look around. Okay, their job in there is to print the mail, okay? Uh, I worked in a, such a facility called CSG a few years back, and I'll tell you a few things. Number one, I've never had so many paper cuts in my life. Number two, that guy should not be going in there because there's a lot of equipment in there, especially uh, that uh, print, printing equipment that can be pretty sensitive. And number two, giant rolls of paper that he could probably knock over. And, well, I wouldn't want to be near that uh, large roll of paper uh, if it hits the ground because even if you move out of the way, it's going to be very hard with any type of equipment in the area to pick it up off the ground. So in short, the idiot has no business there. Yeah. Yeah, is this like a front lobby area right here? I'm yeah. sorry, what's this about? Huh? What is this about? What is what about? Filming. Filming? Oh, I'm just taking a look around. Yeah, I can't. Why not? Because there's a lot of sensitive, sensitive information in this building. Is this, oh, this is not open to the public? It is not open to the public. No, she just said it was. No, this is not open to the public. She, she just told me it I'm was. I'm the manager here. This hey, is hey. not open to the public. Okay, is this a state-owned facility? This or? is a county-owned facility. So it's owned by the county? Correct. It's part of the pu public works department. Okay, so it's a public works division. It's a division. We are a division of the public yeah, yeah, works yeah. department. Okay, so that means the taxpayers are funding it, right? Oh my goodness, dude. Are you that damn stupid? Just because it says public works on the building does not necessarily mean it's open to the public. And if this is guy, what this guy says is true, and there's a lot of sensitive information in this building, and that other person employee was not supposed to let you in to begin with, well, that's on her. That's on her right there. But... They're going to be doing everybody else's service in this uh, area by getting you out of here because that is such sensitive information should not be uh, observed by some idiot who, well, quite frankly, we don't know what their purpose is all about, which makes you a threat to these guys as it is. And by threat, I mean security risk because they don't know what your intentions are. So yeah, basically, you know, to explain what I'm doing is I saw this building. I've never been here before. So I wanted to take a look around. I was just looking at the county vehicles. I went down there. The gate was open. The guy was over there. He was talking to me real cool, real cordial. And then I came over here. She opened the door for me. She said, this is a public office. So I it's came in. and to the general public. Well, you have, you have chairs sitting for sitting. And this looks like a waiting room, right? So is this is yeah. this is this a waiting room? We do we do get um, county customers, you know, customers yeah. from other county departments that come in here. Yeah, so this is like a public waiting room. You no. know, pe people can come in here not and have, like wait right here. Public, no. How's it going? All right. it's, yeah, it's not for the general public now. Okay, well, I don't know. It looks like a waiting room, but it looks like that's probably like a receptionist. You know. Well, let me explain something to you, dude. And this is how. I've seen it work because I actually work in offices such as this. Every now and then I have to report to the my school board every once in a while whenever I have to do some uh, paperwork or anything like that. And you just can't walk right in there because it's not a public office. But there is a waiting room inside the inside there that I have to wait in until the appropriate department within the building is ready to see me. And you know what? They are very busy, so you just can't walk in there even as an employee and expect them to get to you right away. So that's why they have 
the waiting room for other employees in other departments, you moron. So, no. Okay. Well, I'm just taking a look around, so she's going to grab a business card or something, so, no. So this is the print and mail. You can go back to work. You don't need to worry about me. I'm not doing anything wrong. I understand that, but... You said you're the manager here? What's your name? Dale. Dale. This isn't your business card, is it? Do you have a business card? Yes, I do. Can I get one? Yes, if you'll wait here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How's it going, man? All right. Working hard? Yep. Cool. Five minutes later. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. I'm just here taking some photos and video, you know, not... Not here to cause any harm or nothing. I is... understand that. It's just that, uh, you know, I am concerned about everything that happens in this building because it is my concern. Yeah. And there is a lot of sensitive information in here. So, yeah. You can't have people just wandering around. Yeah, I'm not going to go down the hallway or nothing. I, I saw everything I needed to see. I'm just going to take off now. So, okay. Yeah. Sweet, man. Right on. All right. Appreciate you guys. What's your name? Huh? Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? All right. You work for the state? No, this has nothing to do with this. You work for the county? Yes. So is it part of your policy to identify when people ask you? Hey, Frauditor, uh, before you didn't even know where you were at. You had no idea what was going on. But you assume that these guys have a policy about identification. Uh, you know what they say about assumptions? Or assume you make an ass out of you and me. Well, mostly you in this case. Are you sure? Not to the general public, huh? I'll find out. He doesn't have to be an asshole. I, I appreciate you like identifying for me. All right. Yeah. Thanks, man. You have a great day. Well, now, there you have it, folks. The dumbass didn't know where he was at the whole time, but when he got clued in, he wanted them to take him on a tour of a place that is filled with private information. I mean, will wonders never cease, and will frauditors ever get a brain about the distribution of uh, private information on the Internet? I mean, probably not. I mean, it's their job, it seems like, to uh, make sure that the uh, private information becomes public, which is not good for everybody, dude. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.